copy or two in this show. Like two days away, man. Yeah. You work really hard on this, man. Like I told you backstage, you know, it's, to me it's your finest work. And I know like you were very, you were more hands-on with this project than any other album you've worked on. Like, talk a little bit about that process. So this album, basically, um, I made it, all right, quick little story real quick. So when we did- We uh, love stories in crime. Lotus Flower Bomb, <laughs> right? When we did Lotus Flower Bomb. Uh, Miguel wasn't a fan of the song. Like, he liked it, you know what I'm saying? But he did his artist shit, he was like, oh, okay. So when I sent it to him, he sent it back with a different hook. Like, you know, we, uh, my man Sam Du wrote, the, wrote the, the, the initial hook, the Lotus Flower Bomb. So I sent it back to him and, and he sent it back to me with another hook. So I asked it, I, I took him out. Like, I was like, we had a show, he was, he was performing, um, at Merriweather Post Pavilion with Chuck Brown and a whole lot of dope people. So we was performing, and this is when I wanted to get the hook done for Lotus Flower Bomb. So long story short, man, I had to take this man out. We went out for drinks. I had to get a confirmation we was gonna get it done in the whole nine yards just to get the record done. To get him to do it the way you wanted him to do it. Exactly. So I say that to say, this whole album, everything you hear, you hear or you that you heard on the album is what I heard in my head. Like, put this right there, put that right there, turn the vocals down, put some backgrounds here. All of those things is worth for things that I did on the album for the first time. And did you feel like you had the cloud now that it would be less back talk about it? Like you could just kind of, cause you have a lot of guests on the album, like everyone from like Nicki Minaj to Juicy J to Wiz Cause you, you have a lot of guests on there. Like uh, how did you get them to contribute but still understand your vision? I think most of them I gave them a speech. Like, what I was trying to do. Right, what was the Yo Gotti speech? The album, <laughs> but me and Yo Gotti, Yo, me and Yo Gotti been cool since when I didn't have no deal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like everybody, I gave this the speech on this album, like to just to, to get them on it. I mean, I wrote the gift it like a book. I wrote it like a book. Listen, if you listen closely, I don't know if we got any rappers, engineers, producers in it, but if you listen to how some songs fade out, it's laying the foundation of what the next song is. So you, it's made to listen in chronological order. And I wrote it like a book and I was just like, all right, if I want to get this emotion across, let me, how, who can I add to this record to, to get that emotion across? You know, it's like for Bricks, uh, you know, I'm, I ain't no drug dealer. I ain't never been no drug dealer. So I need to, I need to paint that picture though because it's the part of the book where we talk about that. So that's how I picked the feature for that and so forth. And of course, when you got a song like Clappers, you know, everybody likes that clapping, right? He's talking about Shorty got a big old butt. You gotta call Nicki Minaj, right? Yeah. You, see, you see how the album wrote itself? You're a visionary from all hey, That's what I'm saying. The album wrote itself. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 I want you to go in the front row. Police outside. You said that. I'm like, you know what I love about the album too? I love your ad libs. Like, you, you, you sneak it. You listen to the album, you really get the album, you really sit with it. And I don't think you get that from the league. It's like when you really get the album, you own it and you sit with it. Wally sings a lot of like the, the point of view in the beginning of the song, like the spoken word stuff you say. Like in the beginning of 88, you say, I got this thing in my mind about being great or attempting to You know, it's like. I got great my mind now. Ow! Everything happens. My bad back there, Sean Holland. I'm gonna put him in. I got you. So. Like you're a constant competition. I know. I was up okay. 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 You need to get her internship, bro. <laughs> 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 um, oh, by the way, my name is Raquel. I'm Waldo. Oh, okay. Oh, so much. Um, Christmas radio. Check that out. Woo woo! I'm like, I can't see you. I'm so sorry. When I listen to your music, it makes me feel like you're in a constant competition with yourself, as if you're in your own arch nemesis. Is that kind of how you feel? Like Success you know? is like a never ending battle where whoever's at the top, and if that's you, you who you try and hit. To top up my last year is all that I ask of. I pray you forgive me if I don't bask in this chapter. A legend out Georgetown, we talking about practice. Cause in this establishment, you ain't never established. Satisfaction for suckers. I think it means it was a good question. I see some of y'all, we're up in the I see y'all in like a little couple hours. I love you, DC Murder, Virginia. Shut up, man.
Y'all my heart, y'all my everything. I hope to see y'all tonight. If not, then you're off. My click should be canceled. Freaks and gigs, freaks and gigs, freaks and gigs. Freaks and gigs.